Even during this painful week, we see glimmers of uh, very, very strong hope. And uh, this will be a very painful week. And next week, at least part of next week, but probably uh, all of it. Look, if one person dies, it's a painful week. We have a total of 110,000 ventilators coming over a short period of time. I don't think we'll need them. Hopefully, we won't need them. I don't think we'll need anywhere near them. But we'll have them for the future, and we'll also be able to help other countries who are desperate for ventilators. So based on the incredible success of the program, I'm announcing that I'll be asking Congress to provide an additional $250 billion for the Paycheck Protection, which will help keep Americans employed to facilitate a quick and full recovery. Uh, I asked him about it just a little while ago because I read something about a memo. I said, did you do a memo? I didn't look for I didn't see it. I didn't ask him to show it to me. He said, yes, I talked about the possibility of a pandemic. Nobody said it's going to happen, but, you know, there is a possibility. There always has been a possibility, but people wouldn't talk about it. Uh, but it was right about the time that I closed it down. But you have to understand, I'm a cheerleader for this country. I don't want to create havoc and shock and everything else. But ultimately, when I was saying that, I'm also closing it down. I obviously was concerned about it because I closed down our country to China, which was heavily in disparity. We've known literally forever that diseases like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, and asthma are disproportionately afflicting the minority populations, particularly the African Americans. Unfortunately, when you look at the predisposing conditions that lead to a bad outcome with coronavirus, the things that get people into ICUs that require intubation and often lead to death, they are just those very comorbidities that are unfortunately disproportionately prevalent in the African-American populations.